Hey, what's up everybody on YouTube? I wanted to make this quick video to show you guys how to uh, flash a custom ROM. As you can see, I brought my phone back to the almost stock Froyo. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to power off the phone. As you see, it's going to shut down the phone. And the ROM I'm going to be in, uh, reinstalling is uh, the ice cream Froyo. Okay, now that it's off, I know it's like completely dark, guys. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to put it into recovery. So I'm putting the camera down. You're going to hold the volume down button, the call button on the intercept, and then hold the power up button until you see the screen load the custom recovery once you do that everything should look like this this is your custom recovery as you can see it says CM recovery version 2.5.1.0 and the OS internal now one of the first things you're gonna want to do is make backups I've already have but pretty much you'll find backup and restore and when you click that on the top up here you'll see tar backup it's kind of bright so you guys won't see it but there it is tar backup the very top one you're going to select that and you're going to back up system and data which I've already done that once that's done you're going to go to the option there that says wipe and we're going to wipe cache not the top one not data cache but just cache we're going to click wipe and then hit your home button and you'll that wipe the cache then we'll go back to wipe and we're gonna clear the very last option wipe Dalvik cache so we'll select yes hit the home button and that's done once that's done you've, and you've restored, basically you went to backup restore, restored system and restored data. That's just in case anything goes wrong, you can go back into custom recovery and reflash the, uh, the system and it will it'll go back to the previous one that you've had before you initiated the problem. So once that's done, we're going to go to install zip. So it's the third link, install zip from SD card. And we're going to choose the top one, which is choose zip from SD card. Now here you should have a folder in your SD card called SDX. So we're going to scroll to that. And once it's there, you're going to have these three options. It should have backup, updates, and zip. Make sure you store your custom kernels or custom ROMs in zip. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of stuff that I've been playing around with. And uh, we're going to go back to Ice Cream Froyo 1.2 for EC07. EC07 is the intercept for Virgin Mobile. If it's a DL07 or something like that, that's for Sprint. Make sure you download the right ROM for your right phone or you'll wind up bricking your phone. So we're going to choose that. And we're going to press home to begin. I'll put the phone down. And now as you see, it's going to say opening... We go. What I want to let everybody know is you, the things you're going to need to do before you could do this is one, you're going to need to root your device. Two, once you root the device, you're going to need to install a custom recovery. And that would be uh, what I'm using CM01. CM now, once that's done, you're going to see installation complete and it's going to have these options again. You don't need to do anything, you can just back out. So hit your back button. And the top one, which says leave recovery, we'll select that and then reboot to system. Now, as you can see, Google instead of Samsung pops up and the bar is loading. Now, if you want to bring back all your text messages and things like that, you, <laughs> you can... Um, go back into custom recovery go to backup restore 
and restore data. Do not restore system if you're happy with your custom ROM. Because all you're going to do is wind up putting the phone right back into uh, the ROM that it was before. So, yeah. the first time booting up always takes a while. As you can see, different splash screen. <laughs> the colors are just so amazing on this right now. I mean, from this camera, you guys are not going to pick up like how exactly good it is. And from here, it's actually pretty good. There we go. So we have the Android guy here. And we'll drop down the notification bar. Yeah. So yeah, that's how you can um, install a custom ROM once you have your device rooted and installed custom recovery. Thanks for watching this quick brief video. Hopefully this helps people out. And uh, yes, text messages. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs>